to take off my mask first. Hello and welcome to AC Kids Time. I'm Brittany Simmons and I will be delivering our story today. I want you to think for a second. We are in the season of Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? I'm going to tell you a story of something that happened to me when I was 16 years old. That was 17 years ago. Don't tell anybody. When I was 16 years old, I was living in Washington State. Yes, that's all the way in the northwest of the country. And I was away from my friends and my family, and I was living in a dorm with almost 100 other girls. Now, we were all in this dorm, and one day, November 17, 2003, my life changed dramatically. Now, as you know, this past week, it was November 17th, and that's what made me start thinking about some things that I'm truly thankful for. On November 17th, 2003, my dorm had a terrible fire and everything burned up. All of my possessions that I had, all of my memories, everything I owned at 16 years old was in this dorm and everything burned up. Now, I remember that day like it was yesterday and I couldn't tell you what I was doing. I could probably even tell you what I was wearing. Actually, I can't tell you what I was wearing, but that's okay. But I remember the feeling that I had when I was standing outside with all of the other residents of this dormitory watching everything I owned go up in flames. Now, I know you're thinking to yourself, how could this story be about thankfulness? Well, here's the catch. After all of that happened, the dorm on fire for three whole days, three days, the community that came behind us and brought us blankets, donated clothes. Remember, this is 100 girls living in this dorm. And all of these people provided out of their hearts for all of us. We didn't live in Washington, most of us. Some of us lived clear across in Florida or in South Carolina. Me, I was from Cleveland. So you can imagine how hard it was for me to even get more clothing. I remember at that time that Thanksgiving break, which I was thankful for, started early for us. Well, not the best way to start, but all of the gifts, all of the love that had poured out from all of the people around us just brought joy to our hearts. Now, it had me start thinking about a verse in Colossians, Colossians 3, 15 through 17, and it reads like this. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts. Since as members of one body, you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. And whatever you do, whether in words or deed, do it all in the name of God, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And it just made me think of all of those people who came to our, our rescue and they gave out of the love of their heart for all of us who had nothing at that time. And I couldn't help but be thankful for everything that they had done for me. And what timing God has that that happened around Thanksgiving, the time where we are meant to be thankful for all of the things that we were given. I know that in my heart, he knew 
what he was doing at that time. Even though the hurt of losing all of my things was high, I was so sad. But God knew that he had a plan and he was going to make everything brand new if all we would do is thank him and praise him for the things he had given us. Now, I wrote this poem, and it's called an acrostic poem, where you use the first letter of a word to create a poem. And my poem goes like this. T is for timing. H is for help. A is for actions, for God had given us the actions of the people to save our, our time. N is for needs, for he provided for all of our needs. K is for kindness. F is for fast, because even though it took three days for the fire to stop, it did not take three days for the community to wrap around us. And you is for undeniable grace. And L, the love that God has for each of us and that he shares with us and through us. So I want you to remember, think about things that you are thankful for in this season. It doesn't have to be a big thing. It could be something as small as I'm thankful for my mom, my dad, my sister or brother. I'm thankful for school. I am thankful for the sun. Take the time in the next few days, in the next few weeks even, and think about what you are thankful for. All right, as you know, I made my acrostic poem using the letters of the word thankful. I used, I'll say it again, T for timing, H for help, A for actions, N for needs, K for kindness, F for fast, U for undeniable grace, and L for love. I want you to take the word thankful and write your own acrostic poem. It could be one word or one line that starts with the beginning of the word thankful. I would write it down in, on one line, so T-H-A-N-K-F-U-L, just like that so that you can write the words or the sentence together in a poem. And it doesn't have to rhyme, but really think, what are you thankful for and how can you turn your thankfulness into a poem? Happy writing. Thank you.